I finally have a workout video up for you guys. It is hip-based at home, minimal equipment, and honestly, um, don't knock it till you try it. It may seem super easy, like, oh, psh, this is gonna be no biggie. Um, I was surprised at how sore I was this morning by doing this workout. It's gonna target your legs. It's gonna have a ton of core work in it. So if you are postpartum, please, please, please modify the exercises, especially if you have diastasis recti, as that needs to heal before you do major core work. Um, my core guide is finally released. If you guys wanna learn how to properly activate your TVA, prevent diastasis recti, have a functional core, um, it is for everyone, not just pregnancy or postpartum. So that is um, a really good thing to look into if you want to um, have a stronger core. But this workout is going to be some sort of leg plyo immediately followed by a core exercise um, incorporated with arms. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it kicks your butt just as much as it kicked mine. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you next time. All right, you guys, to start this workout, we're doing candlestick rolling jumps. If you have a gymnastics background, you know just how deathly these can be. Make sure when you are standing up, your knee is tracking over your second and third toe. We don't want any knee damage. Also, this is going to spike our heart rate for the entire workout, and we are going to start out strong. If you don't feel comfortable doing a single leg or it's just too difficult, go ahead and use both feet. If you don't feel comfortable rolling on your shoulder blades, no biggie. Just roll as far as you feel comfortable, and you can even use your hands to assist you. There's so many modifications you can do this until you build up the strength to be able to go on your single leg again on this one I'm using my other leg to assist me to stand up and the more you do them the more practice you get the easier and the stronger you'll get and you'll be able to do the full entire rolling jump without using your other leg we're gonna go into a series of core work and we're gonna do bare planks they are my favorite right now as I am 11 weeks postpartum and just really trying to heal my core it's super important that during this exercise your TVA is wrapping and fully engaged the entire time so we can control that intra-abdominal pressure if you have any coning or TVA is not engaged you can worsen your DR or weaken your linea alba also when you're doing this your knee needs to be in alignment with your ankles and you should be able to have a water bottle on your back the entire set again you're gonna repeat this super set five times if you guys want more information on how to properly activate your TVA I do have a core guide that goes over all of it and how to prevent diastasis recti and even heal diastasis recti then we're gonna go into our second Superset doing a Bulgarian split squat with a front delt raise. Again, making sure your knee is tracking over your second and third toe using full range of motion. You can even use a resistance band for this, or if you don't even have weights, you can use whatever you have at home. Honestly, you don't even need weights. You can just hold your arms out in front of you, as this is also a great core worker. You're going to do 10 to 15 reps on each leg. Then you're going to go immediately into another series of core work. If you don't have a resistance band, no biggie. It just makes um, it a little bit more difficult. Even doing it without the resistance band will still require a lot of stabilization, and that is a modification if the resistance band is too hard. You're going to do 15 lateral delt raises. As you're doing this, it's super important that your spine stays neutral, your TVA is engaged, and there is little movement as possible. Modification for this is also going on your knees. Also keep that butt down and keep a neutral spine. You're going to repeat this superset five times back to back, as little rest as possible. I believe in you guys. I know you can do it. Then we're going to go into our third superset. This one was a doozy. You're going to do 15 to 20 jump squats. Again, it's super important that your knees do not cave in and they track over your second and third toe. The lower you squat, the more you're going to gauge your glutes. And the harder you jump, the harder it's going to be and the more it's going to spike your heart rate. That is our ultimate goal. Then we're going to go into another bare plank series. This time we're going to add a tricep extension. Again, it's super important. Your TVA is engaged the entire time. Your back is neutral. As you extend and um, your elbow, you are going to exhale with the movement. So you always want to exhale with the exertion of movements, no matter what kind of lifting you're going to do. Again, neutral spine, TVA is engaged. Elbow is at my side the entire time, and the only thing that is moving is my elbow. Everything is stabilized. Everything is in control. This is really hard, so make sure when you do that, your body isn't going back and forth. 
Then we're going to go into our last superset. You are going to do lunge hops, 10 to 15 of these, making sure your chest is upright, your TVA is engaged, your knee is aligning over your second and third toe, and you're doing mini hops staying low. The burn on this is real, especially after all the leg work we have already done. But you guys, you can do this. Stay strong, positive thoughts, and push through the pain. You're going to be so happy you went through it. Then we're going to go into push-ups, everyone's favorite. If you have DR, please modify this exercise. It is not a good exercise to do as it puts a lot of intradominal pressure on that linea alba. Again, neutral spine all the way down, all the way up, full range of motion. If you need to modify and go on your knees, please do that. There's no shame in modifying. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Let me know your thoughts, and I will catch you next time.